It's been over a year with the Mate 20 and I would say this is my first Huawei phone that I really liked. There were many good impressions. I would say it has great performance, really awesome battery life, a lot of camera lenses and of course it takes pretty good photos. And a year later, everything seems the same. The performance is still great, the screen is nice and big so when I watch YouTube, it looks really good. The phone is thin and nicely curved on the back so handling this phone really feels great so it fits nicely in my hands. And for battery, it's still doing good. I would say for me, Huawei has the best battery management on pretty much any Android but that's from my experience. Face detection works well when there's light on your face but when it gets super dark, for example I'm laying on my bed, all the lights are off, most likely, face detection will not work on the Mate 20. Now that I'm using a lot more phones with only face detection, I really rely on that to get into my phone. So having a backup is a great thing to have because the Mate 20 does have a fingerprint sensor on the back. So whether I'm holding on my right or left hand, I can easily get into it without any problems. For me, I'm not a big fan of the in-screen fingerprint sensor just because I don't feel natural when I'm using it and it's a bit more slower. Now that I'm using more phones with better zoom ranges, I would prefer a better telephoto on this phone. So if you really rely on zooming in in your photos, then I would probably say skip this one and get the next Huawei phone or get a phone with a better zoom range. Because on the Mate 20, you're only going from 1x to 2x, so I just feel like that's a really small gap. Especially using aperture mode, which is my favorite mode on all the Huawei phones, going from 1x to 2x and being able to have that 3x option feels really nice and really gives you a better sense of getting that portrait shot. But the overall camera experience is the same thing, whether you're using the Mate 20 or the P30 or the Mate 30, they're all the same. So when you're going from one phone to another, you're not really spending a lot more time learning anything new. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of on Huawei phones is the UI. For me, I just don't feel as natural as using other UIs from other Android phones. And yes, I can take some more time to learn more about the UI and especially if this is your main phone, then that should be fine. But since I do use a lot more Android phones and I'm using their UI as well, and going back to EMUI, I find myself doing what uh, the other UIs are doing because I just feel like it's more natural and more intuitive. So going back to EMUI, I just feel like there's a lot more steps I would find myself doing just to get this one single command that I can easily do on other phones. As for right now and if you're planning to buy this pretty soon or in the future, for me, the performance is still good. Um, nothing really lags, especially if you're doing everyday stuff like browsing the web or going on Facebook or YouTube. They all work fine. That's more than enough. The phone can handle it. Um, playing some games that can handle it as well. So the performance is still good on this phone. Now for camera, if you really like using telephoto lens, then I would avoid this and get the P30 instead. But if you're using this just to take general photos or just your memories, nothing too serious, then I would say this is still a good performing camera as well. Since this is already year old and the Mate 30 is already out, I would assume you can find this on sale really easily. But the big pro here is that you can still use Google services on this phone, not like the Mate 30. So that is a huge pro, especially if you rely on Google or if you're in the US, I would say that that is a must have for a Huawei phone. So that is my year with the Mate 20. I do have links down below if you are interested. Please give a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.